Hi me and 40 community, welcome back to an episode of my channel. Thanks for joining in again. If you're new and you're watching this video for the first time, this is a community that's built for people in their 40s who are interested in learning about Korean skincare, as well as food choices that we can make to ensure that our skin is glowing and healthy from the inside and out. Today, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite skincare ingredients that I've discovered since I met my husband. He's a naturopathic doctor and he introduced me to glutathione. So when I first heard about glutathione, I was instantly fascinated because it's known to help reduce some of the hyperpigmentation and dark spots. It's also really awesome for the body because it helps rebuild the tissue as well as keeping the good proteins within our system. It also helps boost the immune system, which is really critical these days. And it also helps detox those unwanted chemicals from our body. So during my Style Korea unboxing video, I was really excited about this particular product. This is a Neogen Super Glutathione 100 Bright Toning Up Cream. This is a separate line of Neogen that really focuses on medicinal properties and science. And so I really wanted to try one of their best selling items, which is this glutathione line. It perfects and brightens the skin with rich antioxidant effect, deeply absorbs, radiant results, bright and glowing complexion. So it does do all the things that it promises. So let me show you what I mean. I was really impressed with the texture. So first I'll show you on my hand. Just a little bit was enough it really does go into the skin pretty well it's not sticky it's not greasy either it's just very slightly watery and for a cream it is hydrating but without having the super rich texture that you have to constantly keep rubbing in so already within seconds it absorbed into my the, the back of my hand the back of my hand is t is a little bit drier so i find that anything absorbs really well, but I will show you by applying it onto one side of my face. So I apply it onto the left side. And um, I've got eye makeup on, but I don't have any product on my face, like makeup. I did apply a toner, an essence, but uh, this goes on before the sunblock. So this is the very last step of the basic, the baseline skincare. And can you see the difference? This side is brighter. It's got that dewy, glossy look. Whereas this side, you can still see some of the darkness under my eyes. This one, I do apply it under my eyes as well because it's not that rich and heavy. So it shouldn't cause bagginess or sagginess under the eyes. So by applying it, again, the difference in the tone. It's good as a primer if I wanted to apply a BB cream or a foundation underneath because even when I apply makeup over top, it doesn't pill or it doesn't rub off. Also, for those who are skin confident, it's also a good one to just step out of the house. It does not rub off on the face mask. So if, if you are grossed out by seeing your foundation or your BB cream and color on your face mask, this is one that I recommend you try. But again, it does require a little bit of skin confidence and that you feel comfortable enough going out nearly bare, bare faced without any concealer or foundation on top. So even when I touch my face, it's not sticky, it's not greasy. I think it's a really good one to maintain hydration during the summer months when the skin feels a little bit more on the stickier side because of the excess oils that are produced by the heat. One thing also to note from this was is that the testing that was done was actually on women who were 10 in their teens and in their 20s and 30s. And so uh, for us, like I'm 42 right now, um, I'm not sure if it would just take a little bit longer to see the same kind of results that were advertised on the Neogen Cermetic website. I asked my husband 
about the, the skin benefits of using a cream versus taking a, an oral supplement. Like with anything else, um, levels of glutathione will decrease as we age. So it's important to really help maintain that balance in our body and give our liver a little bit of help in producing glutathione. Glutathione in creams, it may oxidize pretty quickly. So even if you apply it on your skin, within a couple of minutes, it can just evaporate into the air. So perhaps combining both, for those of you who are eager to try glutathione and incorporating it into your daily regimen, it would be beneficial. With glutathione supplements, um, it also does take time. It's something that I take daily. It comes in either a tablet or liquid form and both of them are pretty good. And for me, I really do feel that it helps with detoxing because my digestion has been working really well. And also I'm experiencing less skin troubles. The quickest way to see a more accelerated results from glutathione is through intravenous, which is an IV. I've had this treatment done before uh, with my naturopathic doctor and he provided um, a packet of glutathione, but also some of the other nutrients to help um, my body boost up its immune system and also help with the detox function. So I really felt that it was therapeutic because uh, a lot of it I can see just entering into my bloodstream and um, it, did, it did feel really effective. The treatments are quite expensive though in Canada and you have to really be consistent and diligent in order for the body to be able to absorb the glutathione and translate it into the brightening of the skin results. So then a more practical way to enhance the amount of glutathione in your body is to help your liver produce it naturally. Um, unlike some of the other antioxidants that you can get from plants, like vitamin C you can get from citrus fruits, glutathione is something that the liver functions in producing. So what we can do is we can intake certain foods that can help with that production. So the first and foremost would be avoiding alcohol, wines and beers. I know it can be some of our favorite things, but it does put a lot of pressure on the liver and it can really distract it from producing the optimal levels of glutathione that we want in our body. Next, we can enhance the amount of sulfur rich foods that we eat in our daily diet. So foods like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, onions, garlic can really help with um, increasing the amount of sulfur and glutathione. Also, mushrooms are a really delicious but effective way to get that glutathione boost in our body. Then we also want to increase, if you can, dairy. And the best form of dairy to intake would be A2 milk. And A2 milk contains compounds that really support the production of glutathione. And then selenium is something that I found out about recently. So selenium is a substance that really helps with activating glutathione. So foods like beef, chicken, organ meats, cottage cheese, brown rice, and Brazil nuts are really rich in selenium. So back to the skincare product, this does contain other really interesting ingredients that are wonderful for the skin like niacinamide, vitamin C, pearl powder, so to help with the brightness. Um, there's a little bit of actual pearl in here and an hyaluronic acid. So when I was scanning through the ingredients list, I did not find anything that EWG rates as being red or highly concerning for cancer causing or toxins in the body. So that was something that was reassuring to me. I think that I would continue to use the cream because it was a worthwhile purchase and I'm enjoying the texture and the instant brightness that I get from applying it. I want to focus a little bit more on intaking the foods and the supplement to help my body bolster the ability to produce glutathione on its own. So I hope that was a little bit helpful in introducing what glutathione is and how it can benefit your skin, maintain that brightness and the glow. So thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, click subscribe because it really helps my channel. See you next time with better skin and embracing aging. Take care.